Here I am in Ningen as the sun sets, the boys behind me all having a feed. They're here to do the country challenge. We've got Penrith, we've got Parramatta, Western Suburbs. We've got a few country boys as well. They're damper cooking. They're going to be sheep mustering a little later. Mate, as you can see, hungry bunch of boys behind me and it's going to be a good two days. I've seen a lot of starving boys over there. Obviously a lot of fish here from uh, the community as well. Yeah, there is a lot. We didn't probably should have kicked off a bit earlier than what we did, but we were just running around the short stuff. So, yeah, heaps of fish here. With uh, the rugby league side of things, I mean, obviously the volunteers, everything else, I mean, is this a big boost for Ningen as well? It is a very big boost, even like so for the, all the parents coming, the motels are booked out, the caravan park's booked out, and it just brings the city people out to the country to see what the country life's about. And speaking of volunteering, so how much time and effort is, does this take up of, um, for this whole three or four days? Well, I start organising a fortnight ago for the food, the ordering and that, yeah, yep. and yeah, just organising different people. But this year it's been great for the volunteers because they've all come up and said, look, we'll help out, what do you want us to do? So it's great, and each year it keeps improving. Mate, that fire's pushing out a bit of heat. What you got the fire for? Mate, she's here for the um, camp oven cooking. We're cooking dampers in the oven for the young fellows here tonight. Mate, um, this would be a new experience for them too. Obviously, the, the, the fire, the, the damper. I'd say it would, mate, yeah. They sort of don't do this much in the city, but we do it all the time out here in the scrub. <laughs> That's a beauty, mate, yeah. That's a beauty, mate. That'll, That'll be nice. That'll be Best Four years down the track, how did it all start? Oh, we were just, um, when we had to go away to play football, we had to go to Sydney all the time. We put all the boys in the bus to go to Sydney and all that and said, well, what about these Sydney people come out and see what a bush likes, bush people's like. <laughs> Parramatta and uh, Newcastle, they were the first clubs to come down and we even got as far as uh, Alice Springs, they come from the Northern Territory and we invited a few Queensland people at uh, from Warrabinda and uh, Bundaberg. Uh, I'm here talking with Gary and he's going to be teaching the kids a little bit about sheep mustering this afternoon. Yeah well the idea is we're out in the bush here and uh, a lot of these kids from the city probably haven't seen anything like this before so we're just going to, I've got my dog here called Oz and um, I'm, I just got some sheep I've bought in and I'm just going to give a rough demonstration of what, what I want them to do, it's got a bit of mustering and then when I give the demonstration um, I'm going to ask the three or four people from each team to come out and try to do what the dog just did but um, we're going to number each kid and I'll try to work the kid and sort of if they've got to go out or come to the right or to the left or whatever we'll try to get them through that way. Damp has been pulled out of the oven. The sheep are back in the pen. A few of the boys around the campfire here tonight as there's been festivities here in Ningen for the Country Challenge. I'm sure the boys will be looking ready for their rest for a big game of rugby league tomorrow here in Ningen.